Hey, this is Chief Reese. How you doing, Chief? Hey, I'm doing fine. Hey, I'm uh, doing some talks with folks I walk into. I know well, kind of know, don't know at all. Soldiers okay. gives people an idea of what it's like over here. All right. You go out on a lot of missions, Chief? Uh, no, actually, I don't. I've only met you five, maybe uh, three times. Been there. Three times? All right. Yeah. Do you feel like you're missing out on anything out there? Not at all. <laughs> Did you go to OIF one? Yes. How do you think it? What? Yeah. Oh, so you went to Desert Storm Veteran, too. How long have you been in the Army totally, Chief? Uh, 18 years. When are you going to retire? Two more years to go. You, what if you make uh, W-3 here in a year? Yeah, well, then I should, I'll still do two years after that, so we'll see. Yeah. yeah. But after that, I'm done. So if you could tell anybody back in the world, I'm going back to Fort Rucker, home okay. of the warrant officers and all that good stuff. Of course. What would you tell some of those warrant officers if they saw this, what, what you would want them to know about deploying to Iraq or any other forward area? Just planning. Planning is the key. Um, luckily, we came here before as a division, so we pretty much understood the area. But, of course, uh, we ran into a lot of things we didn't expect with all the insurgency going on right now. So, planning and training is the key to, to making it. Yeah. Do you know any of the soldiers that were hurt here or killed? Uh, yes. Yeah. Who did you know that was killed? Um, Got a 164 that was on the maintenance team. Uh, he actually used to be in 26. Yeah. But then he went over to 164. Uh, what was that sergeant's name? I, I know he's a sergeant, right? Yeah. What was oh, his name? Oh, I can't remember his name. Uh, I always hate when I do that, too. I yeah, feel like uh, I'm disrespecting him. Exactly. And, uh, but I, I remember it was a yeah, big deal in, uh, uh, in 26 FSB because he was so well liked. Right. Uh, especially from OIF-1. I guess he was a hard charging guy. Exactly. And he was killed by an IED while he was actually gunning for his own vehicle, and it tore him up really bad. Yeah, that, that's correct. I saw, I saw his body. It was oh, not. Really? A, I, I think it was, it was here, right? Yeah, it was here. yeah, I saw his body. It was. Uh, he um, he had several holes in his neck from the IED. He was full yeah, of ball bearings. What what the British side? Yeah, yeah it, the the vest probably wouldn't have done nothing. Yeah. I mean, those those things are moving at high velocity. It tore up. The gun, the turret, all that stuff. Right. All right. Anything irreverent, happy you'd like to tell people? Like, oh well, I'm eating good, or oh yeah, I'm eating good. Plus, I'm going home next month also. Oh yeah. Month, so I'm good. Looking forward to getting oh, yeah. away from Rosie Palmer and seeing some real, <laughs> some real woman. There you go. All right, Chief. Thanks okay. a lot. Thank you, sir.